Hey everybody, Mike Iconelli out here in the shop with another great in the shop video for you today. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot on early winter, late fall, wintertime fishing. We've been talking about the baits, the techniques, the style of fishing. Well, guess what? Today, I want to go over my top six wintertime colors. Top six wintertime colors when you're wintertime fishing, right? Colors of the lures that you're fishing. Before I get into that though, I really want to spend a little time talking to you about the theory of why we're going to pick certain colors in the winter versus the spring or summer or fall, okay? Think about what's going on right now. Think about what's going on in the environment, okay? No matter where you live, if you're in the Midwest, the Northeast, the Southeast, uh, the West Coast, Florida, it doesn't matter. The winter time is the coldest, harshest conditions of the year, right? And that's a little different. In New Jersey, where I'm at, it's getting cold. The water's in the low 40s, it's gonna go down to the high 30s, there's snow, there's ice. But even if you're in Texas or Florida, the winter is the coldest, harshest conditions those fish are gonna face, right? So that's relative. But what the forage does that time of the year is where this color thing clicks in, okay? So think about it from this perspective. As the conditions in the winter get more harsh, the water gets colder, the fish get more lethargic, um, you know, all that stuff. The conditions are getting harsh. Guess what happens to the forage? Their colors change, and here's what happens. This is the main thrust of this I wanna get past, is that the colors get duller. They're the most dull and muted all year long. So when you look at this from a seasonal perspective, during this harsh, cold period, the wintertime environment, this is when you wanna dull down your color selection, right? During the spawn in the spring, things are bright. They're spawning, they're mating. In the summer, the fish are active. The water's clear, their colors are brighter. But in the late fall, winter, late winter, the wintertime period, colors get dull and more muted. So that reflects on my color selection for picking baits in the winter, okay? I'm gonna give you my top six, but I also want you to just keep that in your mind. Generally, we wanna go duller, less bright, more muted colors in the winter. Um, I wanna start with uh, crankbaits, with some hard baits, because these are general colors that you can find in a lot of different hard baits. So I'm talking about jerk baits, lipless vibration, uh, crank baits, you know, any of those hard bait styles for fishing in the winter, you're gonna find a color like these. Maybe not this exact color, but something like it. So I wanna start with hard baits and give you three there, and then I'm gonna give you three in soft plastics. All right, let's start. Um, I'm gonna be showing you some Rapala DT baits, and these are colors I designed for Rapala. They're called Ike's custom ink colors. The great thing about these Ike custom ink colors is they are more muted colors. On purpose, I had Rapala fade out the brightness of these baits. Instead of bright colors and a lot of shiny glitter, they're duller, the glitter's more fine and subtle. And this is my first favorite winter color. And I call it a dying shad pattern, this particular color is called Disco Shad. And when you look at it, I want you to really look at this color. It's a dull white or pearl with a little bit of gray or purple in the back. And here's the kicker for this color. Look at the light chartreuse, pale chartreuse. I even would like to call this yellow, this very light yellow on the belly. The great thing about this color palette 
in the winter is it perfectly matches shad, herring, those silver-based forage. They're getting more dull. And a lot of times their belly gets this light pale chartreuse, light pale yellow color. And that's what I want. I want a little, even if it's not the whole belly, um, I want a little spot of that on the belly, okay? So disco shad, but basically what I call a washed out shad color is my number one color in the winter, okay? Number two, uh, again, this is in a DT6 bait, another Ike's Custom Ink color, is my crawfish colors, okay? Crawfish colors. A lot of fish in this cold water period, I'm talking about, Early winter, mid winter, late winter, when the water gets cold and extreme, you know what they start doing? They start feeding on the bottom. They start feeding on the bottom. And crawfish become a big part of their diet. So, my number two color in the winter are crawfish base colors. Once again, more muted, more subtle. This is a color by Rapala Ike's Custom Ink color called Mule. And if you look at it, it's that basic crawfish pattern that you see a lot of companies produce, except it's dull down, lighter brown on the back, a more pale, almost chalky color on the side, and a little bit of orange, that dull orange on the belly, just like a crawfish, perfect imitation of a crawfish. So color number two in the winter for me, a dulled out crawfish pattern. All right, last but not least in hard baits, and this is color number three for me in the winter, is a bait that represents a sunfish, a bluegill, or a yellow perch, a perch pattern, right? And just like the bait fish, just like the crawfish, in the winter time, when that water gets colder, when the temperature is more extreme and harsh, bluegill species dull down. I promise you, I've seen it so many times. They dull down. So I want a color that has elements of bluegill in it, but more dull and muted. This is a great one. Um, if you've watched the Bassmaster Classic a few years back in Knoxville, you saw me almost win the Classic with this bait. This is a color called Smash, and I want you to look at it. A dull greenish brown back, fading into a greenish light chartreuse side. Once again, there's that putty colored body, almost like a light brown body, with just a little splotch of light orange. That is the perfect imitator of a bluegill or sunfish or even a yellow perch, right? A, a brim species. A um, lot of different companies make these more dull down bluegill sunfish patterns. That's what you gotta have in your arsenal in the winter. So color number three for my top six wintertime patterns is a, blue, a dulled out bluegill. This one's called Smash. All right, I gave you three hard baits. Now I wanna give you three Soft plastic colors. But listen to me, the theory's the same. Don't change your mindset. When you're using soft plastics in the winter or even a jig with a trailer, we're gonna talk about that in a second, I want your colors in soft plastics and jigs and trailers, jig trailers, to be more muted, just like the hard baits, right? The water's colder, it's extreme, uh, it's the coldest water temperature of the year, the fish are getting slower, they're getting lower, the forage is getting slower and lower, metabolism's lowered, all that dulls down the natural forage, the natural bait, the crawl, everything is dulled down. So carry that over to your soft plastic selection, okay? Um, I gotta start with one of my favorite colors in the winter. This might shock you. This is for clear water, stained water, muddy water, it doesn't matter. You ready for this? One of my favorite colors in the winter is black. The absence of color. No color. Black is dark. There's no color there, but it's the ultimate subtle contrast in water. In clear water, it's a contrast, and it's subtle. In stained water, it's contrast. In muddy water, it's a contrast, and it's subtle. There's no metal flake. There's, there's no brightness. It's just black. This is a four inch uh, Berkeley Powerbait water bug. Great wintertime bait. I fish this on a Ned head a lot in the winter. And it can imitate a lot of stuff. When you've got a black bait, 
the fish can't get a great look at it. They just see silhouette, right? They just see outline. So a, a bait like a water bug or a four inch worm or a tube or a little grub, a little black four inch water bug can be a goby. It could be a crawfish. It could be a little minnow, a darter minnow scooting along the bottom. It could be a bug. You know how many fish, especially in the Midwest and Northeast, eat bugs in the winter? That could be a larva, it could be a bug on the bottom, right? So black is my number four favorite color in the wintertime, especially in soft plastics. Okay, going to number five, we're in soft plastics. Continuing the theme of a more muted, dulled down color, and this one's gotta be green pumpkin, okay? Everybody knows green pumpkin. It's probably the best selling color of all times. This happens to be green pumpkin with black metal flake in it. Uh, and this is a four inch Berkeley Powerbait flute worm. This is another one of my favorite winter baits. In fact, I drop shot this a lot. I fish a chicken rig a lot in the winter, slow and low on the bottom, imitating forage that's slower, their metabolism slowed down, they're washed out, there it goes. Green pumpkin, especially, especially, especially in clear to stain water, I've caught more fish on green pumpkin soft plastics in the winter than probably any other color, okay? So regular green pumpkin. Once again, look at it. This could be a lot of different things in the water. A little tiny minnow, a bluegill, a crawfish, right? Uh, a, a worm that's washed in. It could be a lot of things. So I'm going with green pumpkin as my number five top wintertime color, especially in soft plastics. All right, last but not least, um, I'm gonna give you one other color that is a must have, especially, this one dives a little more into clear to ultra clear water. And what happens, if you're listening to this right now, you know a lot of places in the winter time get clear. They clean up, right? There's not as much rain, there's some snow, uh, the reservoirs lower sometimes. A lot of these fisheries clean up in the winter and get ultra clear. When that happens, my favorite color, this is number six, is a watermelon based color, okay? Something with watermelon seed in it. And watermelon seed compared to green pumpkin is, is much clearer. It's, it's more of a translucent color. And that's why in clean water, sometimes the difference between green pumpkin and a watermelon based color, watermelon seed color is big. You look at them side by side, it's like, I'm not much of a difference. But the translucency of watermelon in the winter in clear to crystal clear water makes a huge difference. This is just a little four inch uh, a Berkeley, a general. It's great on a, on a shaky head. It's great on a wacky jig head. It's great weightless, wacky styled for shallow water winter fishing. And in cleaner water, watermelon, watermelon with some little blue flake. Remember, in these plastics, stay away from the bright metal flake. Stay away from bright colors. Go more muted, all right? I did want to throw in there a jig. Uh, this could go for a, um, also a vibrating jig, chatterbait style lure. Just keep the same theory that we just talked about, right? Green pumpkin, black or black and blue. Even the trailer, this is a, a Max Scent chunk. More muted, right? The great thing about Max Scent is the Max Scent Berkeley stuff is muted because of the nature of the material, it's muted. So jigs, chatterbaits, same rule as what we just talked about. Go with the more muted, dull down colors. One last tip for you um, is a cool product that can help you dull down baits if you don't have dull down baits, right? What if you've got a box of 30 lures, but none of them are dull? Guess what? You can dull them down yourself. And you can do it two ways, but this one's easy. You can dull down an existing bait that you have See if I have a strip here. I usually have it right here. Here it goes. You can dull down an existing bait you have with sandpaper, okay? And it's easy to get a crankbait or a jerk bait, a hard plug, and literally just start sanding it down to give it a dull finish. Or 
this really cool product, and it's really inexpensive. Uh, everybody sells a Tackle Warehouse. It's by Spike It, and it's called Luma Pearl. And what this does is it puts this dull, pearlescent sheen on a lure. So you can take a bright chartreuse lure, spray this on it, hard lure, and that sheen will dull it down. You could take Luma Pearl on a bright chartreuse plastic and spray it on there, and it takes that chartreuse and dulls it down. Puts that natural purplish blue sheen on it. This is a great little trick also in the winter to get your baits more natural looking. Um, I hope you learned something. In, in the winter when it gets cold, dull your baits down, mimic the forge. That's what happens to the forge naturally. It's a great tip. They're my top six winter colors. Uh, try them, I know you're gonna catch more fish. Listen to me, if you enjoyed this edition of In the Shop, take a second, mash that subscribe button for me. We're gonna have a brand new one coming to you every single week. If you're already a subscriber, please let your buddy know about Mike Iconelli fishing on YouTube. We've got some great educational content for you. Uh, good luck, good fishing, have an awesome winter, bye.